Hello. Hope you can hear me right now. Yes, miss. Okay, right. Thank you. Um, yeah, please feel free to talk to me anytime if you feel anything where you uncomfortable. Uh, so um, welcome to this uh, library session um, regarding the research support and guide to plagiarism detection tool. So this is organized for the um, students who are at the moment doing their research and uh, engage with their final uh, literature survey and um, and also using the page research che checker tool maybe you have already used in this but let's see whatever lack you have uh, in information lack uh, with this uh, tool and also the research searching and how library can help you when you are doing your research hope you can see my screen well and also hear me and I'm glad that um, you, um, a small crowd is there because we can have a more discussion um, individually and um, make this uh, session a very uh, productive session. So um, my, today I'm going to talk to you about smart searching. Um, when you are doing a research, you have to be very smart because the time is a very uh, valuable factor at this moment. So uh, today I'm going to tell you about the, how to search through the library catalog and the e-books, e-journals we have uh, in, the, in, the, in the library, uh, through the library website and how you can access without coming to the library. From wherever you are, you can search the books or read the books. So I will show you that facility. And also I will show you that we have a digital library in the um, course web. You know that you, you know the course web uh, access and all that. So I'm going to tell you about the what are the facilities available in, in this digital library course web. Um, and also the research web that is very important factor. Uh, through the library, what type of research help you can get. And finally, uh, the library team help. So we are there at any time within this two years time, with, especially when you are doing your research uh, to help you at any time. So let's see how to do the smart searching. So I'll first go to the library website and uh, see this is the um, library link. I know that you are uh, it is not new to you. Uh, you can log into the library, library.slick.lk. So this is the front page. So when you go to the front page, you will see the new arrivals. So if you are interested in new arrivals, you can just click on that and you can even um, reserve the book. Um, and also the you can, um, if it is an ebook, you can read it. So I will show you how to read it without coming to the library because, because I know that most of you all are uh, very busy and uh, you don't have time to come to the library. So it's okay because the present day, the virtual platform is um, open to you. So uh, that is why I wanted to tell you that how to access uh, the um, library without coming to the uh, library physically. So this is the page you have to use the library catalog search. So when you go to the library website, you can um, uh, go to the search bar here and then you can uh, select whatever the keywords or the publisher or the subject uh, from here. And also there's a category here. From this category, you can search all, all the category whatever the keyword you are using here or otherwise if you really wanted to know only the ebooks because you are out of the campus you can just click on the ebooks and the, only the ebooks will come there but at the same time I suggest that it is better to search all and see sometimes there are journals or the standards or some other articles related to the search so it is better to search all and um, uh, then you can do the uh, then select later on. So um, I'm going a little bit fast because I think that you all know about this. But later on, if you have any questions, I'm there to answer you, and we can um, I can show you again and again if you wanted to. Uh, if there's a problem or you, the chat uh, room is there, you can um, send your chats. 
and um, whatever the question through the chat box. And uh, anyway, at the end of this, we can have a, a discussion session. So um, uh, when you search uh, this cloud comput computing, that is the keyword used here. Uh, and when you use it, uh, you will see that um, under that we have 10 reports. And out of that, three ebooks are there, two books are there, and the five articles are there. So now you know the whole uh, content we, which have uh, in the library through this uh, search method. So if it is a uh, if it is a ebook, you can read it, or if it is a hard copy before coming to the library, you can reserve it because when you come into when you come to the library to borrow this, if the book is not available, so that is disappointing. So before coming to the library, you can reserve it. Just go to the library, you know, click the reserve and you have to have a user login. I hope that you all are library members right now because the library will send you the user login for this. Uh, so using that use a login you have you can reserve the books right if it is an ebook you can select the view online but if you are out of the campus uh, then you um, it, you have to log into the remote access mode right if you are inside the campus right there okay you can just click that and you can read it so how to uh, get the remote access that's the problem so when you go to the library site under the quick links you will see that there's an icon called vpn access right so uh, just click on that vpn access and then you can uh, uh, you can access the, all these ebooks or if otherwise even if you want to go to the IEEE or other uh, Elsevier books or anything just click on that it from out, when you're out of the campus it will ask for you to uh, log into the remote access mode so when you re go to the click on the VPN access they will ask your uh, you user login this is the you are domain user login that is your student id number and slit password so when you click on that you will go to the um, go to that uh, site so as an example you will you will go to the um, uh, screen like this so when you log into the vpn access you will go to the screen like this right so these are the ebooks and the databases as available through the library website so when when you go there just click on that and you can use the um, all these uh, ebooks and journals uh, just as you are inside the campus so i will now um, go to the uh, site lively and show you because uh, it is better i thought that it is better to show you lively so now i'm going to the library website this is live website So this is the search mode I, I told you that we have the search bar. And uh, if, if you have not become a library member, you can still have time to become a library member. And these are the new arrivals and all this information are available here. So uh, we go to the search bar. And um, this is what I told you that you can just uh, uh, select anything, keyword. And uh, let's see, I hope, uh, I hope um, MBU students are also there. So you will see under management, keyword uh, management, there are 463 records here in our library catalog. And out of that 316 books and e-referencing 18, Article 70, ebooks 36, CDs 23. So you can uh, just click on that and then you can read the ebook. So we'll go to the ebooks. So you can just select whatever you want. Right. So this is the normal way we want line. Now they will ask for me to log into the vpn access right so it will show you um, all this um, information 
and also um, it will show you how to act, uh, how to download the books. So uh, I think I have just in the let's see here. Uh, I will show you how to access the VPN access. This is the VPN access. So when I click on the VPN access, they will ask for a user login. So this is the screen I told you. Now this is live. Uh, so the screen is there. So you can just search whatever the books you want, right? Uh, so as an example, let's. So this uh, Taylor and Francis Wiley, Science Direct, Pearson, those are the ebooks. And this IEEE, Emerald are the uh, Emerald A, C, A, S, M, E, all are uh, databases. So as an, uh, we'll just go to the Science Direct. So now I'm there in the Science Direct platform. And you will see if you uh, correctly log in, you will see that this icon uh, brought you by sleep. So that means that you have come to the correct path, right? So there are many information in this uh, platform, uh, live platform. You can see the popular articles, recent publication, because for um, uh, research, you need recent publication. Those are very important. Uh, so the subject categories are there. And uh, you go to the journals and books, right? So you will see um, there are many journals and books. Now we want books. You can mini, uh, you can filter your search and you will see 32,652 books are there. So under the big data, I got 50 books, right? So you will see under the big data, there are many books available. Uh, this is for the computing students and the, um, mostly. Uh, so um, just click on one of these. And then you will see the cover page of the book and also the uh, description of the books. From here, you can download the full chapter, full book, and it will, uh, with this green color dot, it shows you that the full text is available for you. And remember students, if, if this full text is not available, you can see only the abstract. So at that moment, that means that we have not um, uh, access to that book. So at that point, please write to us, please contact the library. <coughs> So we can help you. We have many connections with the other libraries. So under interlibrary loans, we can get your the uh, access to that. So as an example, so now you can just uh, get all this, all this information from there. So just to open the open chapter. Hope you can see my screen. <laughs> Uh, so you will see that this chapter, I, I have opened the second chapter. You will see that all these um, headings and all that. And also you will see the outline of that chapter. So it, it's not like just reading a hard copy. When reading a ebooks, you get many facilities. So this is makes you very comfortable when you are doing your research, because as I said earlier, the time is very important factor. And also you can get the figures, tables inside this chapter. And also if you are interested to get this table or figure, you can just drag it, in, it and get it into your assignment and show it that this is taken from this 
chapter or the from this author. The after selecting anything from these searches, it is really important to show your referencing. Yeah, if not, I will tell you. Uh, you know that right now, uh, there will be a problem of plagiarizing, right? So the it is really important uh, to show your referencing. So when you and also. Um, and also it um, helps you to, um, it, it directs you to metadata. Uh, that means that it, they say, okay, you are searching this article, but there are many related articles and they are recommending these articles. So you can expand your research. So that is, I call uh, smart research. So you see, you from, from any source, you have got this article, to for your research, but you can expand yourself by going through this metadata. So this is what um, very helpful when you are doing your research. And also um, you can just cite this article for you uh, because there are reference management tools uh, available like Mandolin, EndNote. Uh, so at, uh, when you are doing a research, you have to use those type of um, referencing management tools because it is says easy when you are showing your references. So when you are, if you are having Mandali, I suggest that Mandali is very important. Uh, so we have a um, workshop done regarding the how to access the Mandali and, and how to get the connections through the Mandali. Uh, that uh, video is available under the Slit uh, Library YouTube channel. Uh, so you can go there and. Uh, refer that also. So if you have Mandalay or EndNote, you can just cite it there or the, um, so it is easy. You can, from, the, from that, you can just do from one set, you can do everything, right? So this is um, one of the VPN portals where you have, we have re, uh, selected. And also uh, if I wanted to go to the, uh, Taylor and Francis. So you will see this is the Taylor and Francis ebook platform. Uh, so here, uh, when you click this, so here also you will see the name of institution street is there. So when you click that, so all ebook collection is also there, but TNF ebooks mean this is the whatever the, we have purchased, the street library has purchased. So we, you can search through that this, and also you can uh, request the library to get whatever not available. But uh, if you wanted the full text access here, you can just select it and you can, TNF eBooks, you can just uh, search it. So you see that uh, under the cloud computing, you get um, eight books uh, and 103 book chapters. So whatever you want, you, the, the cover page and uh, the uh, title and uh, the author will be there. So you can just select whatever you want. So this is the green right means you have the full access uh, so you can download the, this is, these books are multiple access IP based books. So you are entitled to as a student, you can access the full text, right? So like that, you can access all other books uh, like Wiley also. Just give me a second, something wrong with that. So as I have logged into the, uh, so this is the Wiley site. Uh, you will see that um, uh, the search bar is here and also the books are here. Uh, you can just uh, click on the books or journals here, right? So you uh, from that you can filter. So it is really easy. You can filter it and also you can check uh, last week, last month, or the, you can just 
uh, type uh, from 2000 to 2023 like that you can just um, filter your information using this platform right and um, so um, here you will see, see all the um, ebooks available this ACM is um, Mechanical Engineering, uh, American Society of Mechanical Engineering. I'm not going to tell you about that because it's not uh, relevant for you. We also have Pearson eBooks. Uh, when you, uh, Pearson eBooks, you know that main four textbooks are available. Um, so, so when you go to the Pearson eBooks, it is different because uh, it's not accessible to through the VPN, but you have to, uh, there's a form here, you have to register yourself uh, just, um, and then if when you send this to uh, the library, you will get the uh, institutional code, right? Institutional access code. So when you get the institutional access code, you can then um, uh, access there using that. So that is the difference of using the Pearson eBooks. Uh, other than that, all other books are you can access through the um, uh, VPN access. Now let's see uh, about the uh, databases. So um, I think most of you have uh, you are in the computing side, uh, computing faculty. So IEEE is most important one, and also Emerald. Uh, mostly uh, for the business school. Uh, we have uh, School of Business um, related sub programs, uh, Emerald Insight, and also the um, Emerald E cases available. So let's see the Emerald Insight. So you will see I, I, I have directed all the time to the VPN because I'm uh, doing this from home. So you will see that institution name is there. So uh, you can just use this search bar or otherwise. Um, otherwise, you will see that um, browse our content. Just click on that. You will see books and journals case studies, expert briefing, and also there are open access. So when you click on the browse our content, you will see that we, what we have subscribed. So you go to the expert briefing is also very, uh, very important because uh, this is give you extra information about Oxford Analytica. This is really important one or otherwise you can go to this books and journals, right? So here you can use this search bar. Mm. So you will see that when I type the keyword, there are many, uh, uh, in, uh, titles are coming there and also you can use this um, advanced searching power also. So you will see that under the financial marketing 157,000 uh, results are there, this related articles are there. So you will, uh, you have, you then you can minimize. So whatever the, the green mark is, that is you have the full text, but this red mark is you don't have, we don't have the access to that, but don't worry. Uh, you can write to us, you can contact us. I will tell you how you can contact even during the weekends, you can contact us and then we can get whatever the uh, not available resources to you, right? Uh, so um, just uh, you can minimize your search. You can say that because th there are 157,000 articles. Uh, so it's so we will do a um, advanced search.
you add the row and and also if you want you can add more rows and use this boolean logging and no not right um, and um, let's see i want financial marketing risk management but not in india no we can we will see that uh, and whatever available in asia not india so like that you can do your smart searching so you will see that uh, this is what we have searched financial marketing and risk management and in asia but not in india so you will see that now it is come to 15000 articles right so here also you can minimize more so you want last 12 months so likewise you can uh, mean filter your searches and get whatever exactly whatever related articles so th that is really important so you will see that you can get all these articles um by filtering this and also you can all all are green color or if there's no um if it is red color please contact us we are there to help you right so that is one way of searching and also we will go to the other one i triple e this is really important we important database we have full access to this i triple e so you will see that um, only uh, students you are really privileged only we and moroto university is having this full access to i triple e from this uh, from the country and even from these two years moroto uh, university couldn't uh, subscribe it because of these problems in the country so only in sri lanka slit is having the full access to i triple e so make use of this so in this is really important Um, database you will see uh, the features authors and uh, also the news and updates very relevant re recent publications conference upcoming conference all these information are available through this platform as a researcher after doing your research you can publish your papers even in, in using this emerald because we are uh, subscribed to that and even in the ieee so Uh, I triple E is a very reputed um, uh, database. You so we, let's see. <clears throat> Sorry if I am using the same uh, keywords. Uh, you can try it and see later on other keywords. So cloud computing. Uh, so you get ninety-seven thousand uh, articles. and out of that conferences 78000 and journals 13000 and also books 924 and really important that we have 24 standards so likewise you can just select whatever you want right so um, you will see that uh, the this green color unlock padlock means that you you have the full access this red color uh, padlock lock padlock that means this article you don't have the full access you have only the abstract read the abstract and if you think that if you need that write to us we will try our best to get that so let's um, open this you will see the article here and um, i just wanted to show you the some features in this article so you can get the pdf and also you will see this paper is cited by another 125 article uh, papers so the, this is really important to check the um, validity of this paper 
So that is really important when you are doing your research, getting the um, valid, valid articles, uh, reputed articles. So this is a very good article. So 125 cited and also read by or the view by 15,666 people. So this is a very good article you can see. And also you can um, get the DOI number when for the, actually when you are uh, putting your references, it is really important to put the DOI number that you know that uh, digital objective or identifier that digital articles have this digital number, uh, just like the ISSN number used earlier. And um, those are very important. And you will see the figures, uh, all these in the same um, platform, right? So, and also we have another feature. So uh, say that I wanted only the journals apply. So if you wanted to wanted to get some of these selected articles to your database or your computer, you can just select right. And there's a feature called export, right? So you can just export or you can just download even five or 10 articles at a time, right? Without opening everyone and saving it, you can just download to, the, to your whatever you are. Uh, even you can download it to the Mandalay even or the uh, referencing management tool or whatever. Uh, uh, um, whatever the place you want um, and also the you can cite it so that means that when you are writing it this citation will be there so in this paper uh, your citation will, will be also added to that right uh, so those are the features that we can show you And also you can set search, this is your subject, say that this is the su your subject. So cloud computing is yours. You can set search alerts. So when you set search alerts, uh, they will ask you to have a, uh, your own account. So that means that within the state, you can have a, as a reader, you can have a set of uh, your own account. And then whenever the um, new publish, uh, article published, they will send you a search alert. This is um, really important when you are doing your MPhil or PhD. So long-term research when you are doing that, that is really important. So uh, yes, that is the uh, databases I wanted to show you because this uh, engineering ones are, I think not needed at this moment. Uh, so Emerald e-cases also available, you know, as uh, business students, uh, the, the reading of cases is really important. So we have access, this is a uh, uh, database you can access through the Emerald Insight, right? So in the Emerald Insight, you will, you have seen that um, Browse our content, you see, see the case studies also there, right? Um, other than that, we have other databases here uh, that is also whatever we purchase. And at the same time, there are some open access database like Co and DOAG um, and ACM, ACM Digital Library. So this is, uh, we have limited access when you may not get the full text like the other databases as we have subscribed, but you can search and you can um, get, in, uh, get in touch with the library. So we can, we have many connections with the other international and also the national library. We are um, uh, connected to many um, internal um, uh, 
institution, we have an institutional membership there. And through that, we can get you the whatever the articles you know. It's our responsibility. We, we think that it is our responsibility to cater you uh, when you are doing your research. So there are many uh, open access. This, this is also very important when you are doing your theses and dissertations where, you know, to go through the um, open access thesis and dissertation. Um, and also, uh, there are, these are many databases available through the library website. And also, from here, I can tell you that we have also, you can see the research papers available. This is um, research data archive um, maintained by the strict library. Uh, so this is uh, what all the articles published by the strict community are available here in this research data archive. Right. So you can access to that and you will see in faculty wise the articles are there. Uh, and also, you know, that each faculty is publishing uh, journals. So these journals um, are also available, conference uh, proceedings, journals available and also postgraduate thesis are also available. So postgraduate thesis, you get only the abstract. Right. So if you wanted to go through the full text, um, the digital um, theses are available in the library, but you have to visit the library. So because you know there are restrictions uh, uh, of copying uh, and um, uh, getting um, uh, the theses to your research that there are many problems like that. So to avoid the plagiarizing, the full text, you have to contact the library and visit the library and you can um, get the full text for your research, right? So this is um, this is really important when you are doing your research. And also, I at this time, I'm taking this opportunity to tell you that when you are, after your uh, research done, when you are publishing your papers in some platforms, please send us the articles so we can, as a strict student, we can publish this in this research database, right? Uh, and also, so from here also you can access that. This is the e-repository. So as I said, you we have connections with Curtin University Library and the LJM University Library where they have many databases access. We, the library staff is having the library membership for, through that you can help you. And also we have a network connection with the National Science Foundation. Uh, so through that also we can uh, help you. And also this chartered account, SEMA, British Council Library, we have an um, institutional membership. Uh, if you wanted British Council Library access, uh, please contact the library, we can help you. And also the SEMA, we have, um, uh, we have the uh, library membership uh, and also the chartered account. So if you need anything uh, related to that, uh, we can help you, right? Um, so the, um, I will cover from here the next uh, part I told you that I want to tell you about the digital library available in the course web. So this is the digital library access through the library website. You can go to the digital library. So they will, as I have already logging there, I just directed to the uh, site, but they will ask for a user logging when you want to log in there that the same uh, logging you have to use that your domain logging. So then you can come to the library. So here um, under the digital library, you can uh, see what um, there are also, we have teacher guided eBooks. So why we say that teacher guided eBooks, all the other eBooks also we have purchased because your teachers have recommended. But that is we have purchased as multiple access IP based uh, eBooks. But sometimes we purchase only one book. So the PDF copy is there. So all that books are available under here, right? So it is available under faculties. So if you are in the, under the faculty of computing, you can go to the computing faculty and you can open up the books. So these eBooks, um, you can get the full text and also sometimes uh, book chapters and other related articles, uh, we normally 
uh, published through this ebook platform. So, Faculty of Graduate Studies and Research, we also have ebooks. So, you will see, you will come to a uh, screen like that. Uh, you can just use this search bar. Um, so, I will just go to this research, research design and quantitative. So, you will see the book. So, 322 20 pages. So, this is going to be downloaded when downloaded. You, yeah, it's coming. So, my internet is a bit fast today. So, you will see the full text here. Right. Yeah. So, you can just download it and read it. Uh, that book. So, that is the uh, teacher guided ebooks. And also, mm, um, there are educational resources, past papers available uh, through the digital past papers available through the digital library. So your uh, past papers are available here. MBA, MSc, past papers are available. So without coming to the library, you can access all these things. And also we have a, uh, di digital dictionaries, glossaries um, available here. And um, educational resources, under educational resources, you will see the uh, recommended uh, referencing styles. All the details about the recommending uh, referencing styles. I think you already know about this. Um, so you can go through this and uh, get the information about, um, I think um, the School of Business, they use the Harvard referencing style and the computing faculty, they use normally IEEE referencing style. But some people uh, use APA referencing styles too. So all these are available uh, through this uh, platform, um, digital library and also some video references, and also the Turnitin access also available through the digital library. I will tell. And also we have some um, magazines available like MIT Technology Review. I think uh, as uh, postgraduate students, this is a very good um, uh, techno technology review uh, journal, uh, go through that. And also we have Harvard Business Review, Voice of Marketers, all these um, are available uh, as digitized copies. So without coming to the library, you can access all this information. So I think I have uh, gone through all this. Hope you can see my screen right now. Yes, miss, we can see. Okay, right. So I have covered all this. Yeah, uh, the citations also you will see that. Um, I have the I have discussed about that. Then I have discussed about the digital library and the referencing styles. So the uh, this is the Harvard style, the way of writing Harvard style, and this is the the. IEEE style and or this is which I told you that uh, referencing management tools. This is um, the Mandalay tools. Uh, the video is available through the library, uh, Street Library YouTube channel, which, which we have done um, with the resource person from Caledonia University. Um, so you can just go there and uh, get the information. Uh, in note also, you can have as a student, you can get a, um, your, your student access. Uh, we don't have at the moment. Earlier we had a license, but um, uh, we now go through the Mandalay because Mandalay uh, pub is published by the LCV publishers, and it is more looks like more practical than the EndNote. But some prefer the EndNote. It's so the now the best part is the research guide. So how we can uh, the library help you with the research? In the library website, you will see the research guide, this icon research guide, right? So in this research guide, you will get many information, right? So we uh, tell you about the research process, how, what, how, the, how the process should go on. Uh, and also we tell you about the 
thesis submission guideline all the thesis how to prepare the thesis and the uh, even the uh, and how to number page how to have space and how to keep uh, margins everything is available here this is this uh, information is recommended by the fgsr so when you are uh, doing your research please use this uh, guidelines right and uh, so this is the thesis preparation uh, submission guideline for you um, recommended by uh, fgsr so before writing your thesis you have to go through this and also there it shows you what type of color you have to use if it is a um the mode mode of thesis that msc mbm field you they are uh, they say that these these are the cover uh, color type recommended color types so and also um we show you uh what type of index journals you know that um, uh, the information should be very validity when you are searching information so the index journals we give you many information and the rank conferences uh, because when you are publishing your articles uh, you have to publish it in a ranking um, uh, conference so all this information are available through this um, uh, research guide and also there's a lcva research guide help line there so uh, there are many uh, information how to find the lcva journal uh, and also the 10 tips to writing truly terrible journal article or this is more he very helpful um so you can use this information and also you know that pre journals that is the pre journals mean that um when you are uh, when you have write your done your research and you are uh, writing uh, it for publishing uh, there are uh, there are reputed journals ranking journals as well as predatory journals predatory journals that they, they don't have um, exact uh, editorial mood or they may be sometimes fake um, uh, uh, subscription committee will be uh, publication committee will be there so but they will ask you uh, will try to you and ask you to publish there so um, uh, before uh, doing that uh, you can go to this uh, we have a uh, site how to find the predict journals so you can just go there and click that and uh, see whether that it is a predict journal or not so all this information are available through the library website and the finally um, there are many information for your um, help information for editing and uh, proofreading for your uh, uh, search uh, thesis right so um, we have put this grammarly online uh, pro writing aid typely paper editor those are the um, few uh, open access um, links which you can uh, upload your uh, thesis or upload your paper and you can see um, check your uh, grammar and the uh, writing styles and all that um, other than that we are very recently we have developed a editing and proofreading uh, facility for you with the help of uh, our eltu english learning um, education unit uh, that is for a fee so if you really wanted to get the get your um, uh, thesis um, edited by the, the go through by the uh, reputed people um, so we can coordinate with you and we can guide you to the english faculty there's a person there and uh, they will say just go through it and they will let you know how much it will cost and you have to pay that cost and you can get the proofreading facilities from that so that is the uh, facility you can go through by the uh, you just can't go to the english faculty and ask for a proofreading no they will not help you they will they have a help desk but that is just uh, uh, small for uh, just free one is just to go through very um, uh, not in detail type so the if you want uh, editing and proofreading you have to pay some uh, amount and then uh, get the facility uh, from the uh, english department paper 
And um, this is the e-repository I have told you that uh, the e-repository facility. And um, this is also, I told you that open access thesis and dissertation, this is available through the our open access uh, databases. Uh, and also you can go through our own uh, institution uh, community's thesis also. And the other um, way of searching uh, articles for your research is using the Google Scholar. In the Google Scholar, don't, don't ever use just the Google for searching uh, because for scholarly information, you can go through the, uh, get the you can get uh, through the Google Scholar. So you, here also you can use this My Library facility. You can store your articles there. You can create your profile uh, and uh, use that. So when you, you use uh, searching through the Google Scholar, it will show you where it is available. Right. So that is really the research gate. Research gate also you can as a student, you can have your own uh, account. You can have a free account uh, by registering. So there are you it will show you where it is available. So this is also very important when, through, when you search through the Google Scholar. And um, developing a search strategy is another thing that I, I have told you about how, when you are doing this advanced search. Uh, using this Boolean logic and or not. That is really important. Uh, even when you are searching through the um, uh, internet or the uh, using databases, this uh, Boolean logic is very important. And also using brackets, you can just um, get together one word. So as an example, if you build in landscape, um, uh, just if you put it uh, in a um, uh, separate words so building will come uh, and a uh, landscape will also will be uh, in a separate uh, and if you uh, bracket it so building landscape architecture that word come in in the uh, in a uh, in one word like uh, so this is also helpful when you are doing your research and also you can use this quotation marks asterisk marks and um, question marks so if you want further details, you can contact the library. Library will help you with these things. And the other thing is, it is really important to develop your landscape, information landscape. So when, when the, your lecturer give you, a, uh, approve your research topic, you have to develop your landscape. You have to see uh, what type of books I can uh, get for this and what type of journals internet uh, details and the conferences, special data, people, uh, where you are going to reach. And later on, when you are confirmed and when you're, uh, after you, you do the uh, searches, you can sometimes just cut off something. So as I say, or as an example, uh, yeah, no, I don't want professional bodies. There are no professional bodies uh, related to my research. Or if you want, if you think that individuals are more important for that, that is also some important factor. So like that, you can add uh, to your uh, landscape and just develop those landscape when you are developing a research, uh, research strategy. So those are the um, things that you have to do by yourself and be smart um, when doing research, right? And um, also the other factor is um, evaluate your uh, sources, evaluate whatever you collected. So that is why we pay high uh, amount of money for subscription and get the um, reputed databases to the library. But uh, you know that as a library, we can't get all the reputed uh, databases to the library. So whenever you uh, get uh, information, you have to check whether the, the credibility of that um, article, whether the uh, information in that is accuracy uh, or the statistics are accurate, whether these uh, statistics are published from um, some source. You know that in last um, few years, you get many um, wrong statistics even from reputed institution in Sri Lanka. So uh, those things you have you you have to check uh, and uh, 
see whether that, those uh, statistics are accurate and the reliability of that, whether you get it from what type of um, bias, whether this is American bias, whether this is Chinese bias or like that, you have to re uh, see the reliability of that and the relevance uh, and also the date of publishing. That is really because for the research, the current information is really important. And uh, the, the source, whether uh, this is a reliable source or not, and the scope. Yes, you can get information, but you have to think because you are doing for your postgraduate one. So whether this article is covered your scope or this is addressed to school or whether this is addressed to general public. So like that, you have to prefer that. So the um, use cards to evaluate your research, research is very important. And uh, finally, the plagiarism checker too. So as postgraduate students, um, it's 11, but I will go fast. So uh, as postgraduate students, you have to access, uh, you have the access to turn 18. Uh, for that, um, from that you can upload the papers and you can check your paper by yourself. So um, for that, you have to go to the uh, street um, digital library in the course web and uh, click on the turn 18 icon and you will see that uh, four postgraduate students icon here. Just click the request and there will be a form. When you send the form, you will get the enrollment key and the class ID, right? So once you get the enrollment key and class ID, you have to log into the turn it in again. And um, then uh, they will ask for a login. So before going to the login, you have to create an, your account. So go to the new user and click here and um, click the student, create your, uh, it will come the create your user profile, select the student type, and then they will ask for um, just uh, some questions, uh, the secret questions, and they wanted you to agree for your, their rules and regulation and all that. Then after that, you can create your username and password. Please remember that we are not dealing with Gmails and other emails. You have to use the strict email address here, right? And you can create your password. And then after that, uh, the, the system will, the, through the turn it in, you will get the uh, confirmation mail uh, to that strict email, right? So once you get the confirmation mail, you when you log in there using your login, you will come to the straight come to the uh, class right this class created by the library so um, when you come to the uh, class uh, under the more actions you will when you there's a drop down button you select the submit icon and then you can submit the paper now uh, remember student um, it is really important to use the library created site because when you are using um, some other maybe your friends maybe some other person will help, uh, say that we have the uh, access we can uh, you can uh, upload your paper and see but sometimes there are many um, incidents we have faced uh, so when you go through some other uh, purpose uh, person's uh, accounts sometimes they don't use this no repository sign if they don't use this no repository sign then uh, once you upload the paper it will deposit it permanently in the turnitin database so the second time you upload it it will show you that your paper is 100% um plagiarize so at that time we can't de just delete it because we have to contact the head office the turn it in head office to uh, and uh, tell them this is uh, this has happened um, erroneously and we uh, prove them that uh, this is frankly uh, happened and uh, we have to say that you are a student and write to them many many um confirmation mail and get them deleted so please use the library site, uh, library created uh, site uh, to upload your papers. You can upload your papers many times. So when, when this uh, class is created and then you can just go and um, submit the file using the submit button, right? 
when you use the submit button, they will ask again for your uh, credentials here. They just put your credentials and then uh, you can uh, choose from where to get it from the Dropbox or from the computer and then you can upload it, right? So when you upload, they will ask um, again uh, many information before submitting and then uh, they will show you all the information and then upload it. And once upload it, they all the second time also they because this is critical if you put it in a wrong way. So they will ask again, they will show you author is this, assignment title is this, and file size is this, and ask you to confirm. So when you confirm it, you will get a receipt, right? They say, yes, congratulations, you have submitted uh, completely, right? So when you submit it, then uh, in five minutes time, you can see your results, right? So again, you go to the, uh, turn it in icon and just go there and you will see your paper, right? So um, blue color means that is you don't have any plagiarized things there. This yellow and orange is somewhat 46%, 43%, 56%. So if it is red, that is the problem, 75% plagiarized, right? So it shows you from, uh, the source where you have copied or the, the similar not the copied sometimes, the similar um, I mean, similar sentences coming from this source or and this source like that, uh, the color wise it shows. And this paper is 81% um, plagiarized. So at that time you can correct it, right? So you can again correct it. And also you can use these filters. So using this filter, you can exclude your bibliography and also the some um, uh, sources, exclude some sources, right? Or the quote, quotes, sometimes you quote uh, some uh, words, so you can ask them, ask the system to exclude code. So when you uh, just do that and click on that, it will show you here that 81% that uh, paper, it's 53 percent right now so like that uh, there are many ways of doing it and also you can just um, write it again and upload it so normally we ask you to um so when uh, this is the way of because some students they are worried when uh, how to resubmit it right so if you want to resubmit go to that same assignment and there's a resubmit button there so you use that resubmit button and you can resubmit. So uh, you are allowed to uh, resubmit three times, right? Continuously three times you can. So after that, um, it will take more than 24 hours or sometimes 48 hours to uh, don't uh, submit um, again and again many times because uh, then there will be some errors and problems will be there. If you can submit for three times and um, also don't ask the library to create another account because the, you know, this uh, turn it in, they can trace your same title. So no use of creating another class and submit it. You can submit it to the same class after 24 hours time, right? So if you need help, please contact the library. Um, library staff is there to help you at any time with this submission. I, we know that um, the first two or three times there will be problems, but later on you will get to know it. And um, this is the library YouTube channel. Uh, we, we have a session called YouTube um, video available here about the uh, how to use the uh, turn it in pages some tool and um, sorry Can you see my screen? Yes, madam. Okay, right. So finally, we have, as I said earlier, we have an institutional membership with other institutions. So you can call the library at any time 
and um, get their systems from the library. So we are they are connected to you 24 seven hours um, through the library chat. You can connect me uh, connect by through the Ask Librarian site. There's an Ask Librarian site is there, and also the help desk is uh, available there. Um, we will uh, consult you individually if you want. Uh, if you have problems, um, you can connect it, register yourself, and we can. Uh, connect with two and when you are sending ask librarian uh, in uh, request uh, please send your email address please send the script email address that is really important so this is the library team um, if you can help uh, you can contact them at any time we are there to help you and uh, sorry i have taken 10 minutes